India now has its very first regulation size baseball field. A sport that used to be confined to the embassies in Delhi now has a place to call home. Enter the field of dreams. Inaugurated by friends Ron Aksani and Jackson Golden. The two started Grand Slam Baseball, which provides baseball coaching to kids from private and public schools. When we spoke to Major League Baseball and all the international coaches, they told us that your kids, they're getting enough practices, but they need about 60 to 70 games a year to actually be really good. So that's how we started this and it's really going well. It's been two weeks since we started the Field of Dreams. But that's not all. Grand Slam Baseball has brought a dozen Major League Baseball coaches to Delhi to train 100 Indian kids and coaches over two weeks. The athletes are far more, uh, they have a much better hand-eye coordination than what we've seen in other places. Um, you know, crickets catching a ball with their bare hand and uh, hitting a cricket ball off the, off the ground. It's very similar to baseball, and we've seen the transition. You know, it's, it's been a fairly smooth transition uh, solely because of the hand-eye coordination. It's so much similar to, to uh, cricket than a lot of other sports, so they can relate. You know, I've coached in China. I've seen baseball played in Taiwan, uh, certainly growing up in the United States. Um, what I think India needs most right now is what we're doing here with these coaches, uh, providing them with the framework that they have solid fundamentals to teach the player at the youngest level. We knew that the time was absolutely right. Uh, the talent in India was already there. It was the right moment. Uh, so we set up the field and Major League Baseball actually came to India because of that. Seven years after Rinku Singh was chosen from a reality talent hunt and became India's first pro baseball player, the sport is making slow but steady strides in India. Separation. Three. This glove to chest. In Delhi, Shivani Gupta for India Today.